Are you trying to learn Blender without spending any cash on learning material? Hi, I'm Morten Fjellheim and you are watching another tutorial from Blender Tutorials and Art. Are you thinking that since Blender is free, learning it should be as well? It is possible. It is, however, a tiresome process that requires a lot of commitment and sometimes your searches lead to nothing. The best tips I can give you is to buy a course or a subscription at some kind of learning service. It will save you a lot of time and take it to your end goal slightly free of trouble. You can even combine it with free learning material. But when that is said, learning using free learning materials is easier than I make it sound. In this video I will give you some ideas and approaches for free learning online. In part 2 I will show you some websites and places to go where you can find free learning material and support. But before we hit that play button I want to take a moment and show you my website. Here you can find the blog that this tutorial is based on, so you can read it instead. But the tutorial is slightly different from the blog, so if I was you, I would do both. New blogs and content are already cooking, but meanwhile you can register and use the form if you like. If you want to see more blogs and tutorials like this, you can support me on Patreon. Links are in the description. Alright, it's about time we got going. The most obvious place to start is online. The internet is packed with free learning material for Blender. In fact, Blender is the easiest 3D software to find tutorials for. This is widely thanks to the large enthusiastic Blender community. It is in fact one of the best communities there is, online or not. So here it goes. Number 1. Video Tutorials The first point on my list is to watch video tutorials. There are several websites where you can watch videos, but the most important is YouTube. YouTube has a really high number of channels that offer Blender tutorials and CG related videos, and you can be sure there is something for you. Subscribe if you like the channel, but be sure to take a good look before you decide. Don't limit yourself to visiting channels that has a lot of subscribers. Smaller channels might in fact have something specific that you are looking for. Again, be sure to look through the videos before you decide. Something else you don't want to limit yourself to is watching Blender tutorials only. When it comes to 3D software, some things are software specific, but a lot of stuff is 3D in general. Number 2. Text tutorials or documents. Another way to learn is by reading text tutorials or documents. Most documents and text tutorials can be found online and some can be downloaded. The Blender documentation is the one I want to recommend. The documentation is probably the document online with the most information stored in one place. It's a must for every Blender artist. You can Google it or if you are in Blender go to the help menu and click manual. Number 3. Websites and communities offering support. Next on the list is joining websites and communities offering support. You will get in touch with other artists and can ask questions when you are stuck. Some websites have forums or fields for commenting and very often they will have links to learning material that are there for no other reason than to help the community. The largest one is Blender Artists which is considered the main hub for Blender users. There is also groups on Facebook as well as Reddit and Stack Exchange. Number 4. Chat servers. Another place to find support is on chat servers. They can mostly be found on Discord, not very different from other communities, except they use a different platform. These are ideas for websites you can look for, but before we end this video I have a few more approaches to a free learning project. Take notes. A good way to remember everything you learn is to take notes. That way you can go into your text file and read it with your own words instead of watching a tutorial one more time. 
If you want to be even more creative with the learning process, you can create your own tutorials. You can create a text or video tutorial, research a topic intensively by watching several tutorials and put them together in your own. There are many tutorials on how to use screen recorders if you want to create a video tutorial. There are also many free screen recording tools out there. If you're going to use one, I recommend OBS. Another way to use your screen recorder is to record a specific part of a tutorial. So when you learn something new and useful, you can record it and you don't have to watch the whole tutorial. You can watch that recording instead. If you have a lot of recordings, you can edit them in a video editor. I highly recommend Lightworks. That's the one I'm using for this video. That's all I have in this part of the tutorial. In part two, I will present a long list of free learning resources. We might in fact end up with three parts instead of two. If you like this tutorial and want to see more like it, please support me on Patreon. Making three tutorials is what I want to do. And with your support, I will be able to focus my time on it. Patrons will also qualify for accessing future premium stuff. Thank you for watching this to the end. I hope to see you in part two.